You can't think of the music of Philip Glass, an American composer best known for his early and important forays into minimalism, without thinking about simplicity. Now, minimalism is an experimental form that was born in the 1960s. It consists of taking simple musical figures and repeating them over and over and over again. And Philip Glass's music is full of such simple figures. One of the composers that really influenced Philip Glass was a man named Franz Schubert. Now Schubert was Viennese and he lived in the early 1800s, so quite a while before Philip Glass did. But Schubert was known as a great songsmith. He wrote beautiful melodies, like this one. Now Franz Schubert was born in 1797 at the very apex of the classical style and in its birthplace in Vienna, Austria. Mozart had just recently died after writing some of his most complex works, and Beethoven was just at the very beginning of developing what would be his own very complex style. Schubert, who was born into a very humble background, tended to keep things simple. His was primarily a melodic gift. Schubert's greatest contribution was in the realm of songs. He wrote over 500 in his tragically short lifetime of only 31 years. But let's back up a bit. Much of Western classical music can be quite complex, and one of the best known and earliest examples of this is the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. Throughout Western musical history, there's been a swinging back and forth of the pendulum between more complex and more simple musical styles. Let's listen. Now, Philip Glass grew up in a musical environment that was even more complex than Schubert's. A Juilliard student, he would have been surrounded in his student years by the spiky sounds of atonal composers. These composers were writing as wild and free-sounding music as they could possibly write. So in reaction to the overwhelming complexity swirling around him, he decided to start writing the simplest music he could possibly think of that was simpler even than the music of Schubert. Responding to extreme complexity, Glass would react with an even more extreme simplicity. And it's not really that different from what Franz Schubert did in his time. Both composers were part of a long historical swing of the pendulum between simplicity and complexity.